five. Next is number six. Yep, number six. How do you write five, six as a percent? So what we're doing here is we got to look at um, our fraction here, which is five, six. And what we can do is we're simply just multiplying by a hundred here to get me um, to get me a percent. Or what we can do is we can actually convert this into decimal and that might be um, might be a little bit easier for us to figure out percent. But in this case, I'm going to give you a decimal and a percent as well to see um, to see that this will be a repeating decimal or is a repeating decimal which will make a repeating percent. So we do a long division here. So I'm going to do six divided by five. And then I'm going to add some zeros here. So I'm going to add three zeros here, maybe four zeros. And then I'm going to simply just do long division, right? So six goes into 50, um, eight times. This is a 0 0.8, eight times six is 48. I can subtract that. So 50 minus 48 here is two, bring down the zero. Six times what number gives me 20? Six times three gives me 20. And then 20 minus eight, 18 here is just two. And as you can see, this is going to be repeating again, right? So six times three okay, will give me 18 minus two, bring down the zero, bring down three again. So this three here is definitely a repeating uh, decimal here. And what we can do is we can actually change this to a percent, right? So 0 0.83 bar multiplied by 100%. So every time I'm multiplying 100, I, only, I always have to move the decimal place two times, right? So I can, this is going to be one time and this is two time. So I'm going to have 83 point and this tree is always repeating, right? So it's going to be three, three percent. And this here is going to be my answer for this problem, 83.33. So the solution here is correct. And as you can see, um, this is going to be a repeating decimal. What they did here was they actually multiplied five, six straight up by a hundred to get me directly from the fraction into the percent, which is also a valid answer here. So if I multiply this by percent, you would get um, 500 over six, and you would actually have to do the exact um, the exact long division here to figure out that this here is simply 83.33, but it doesn't matter. Um, both ways work as well. So this here is approximately 83.33%. So either way works out. They both give us the same answer. So solution here is correct.